Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here. I just wanted to go and give you guys a review on a saw that I absolutely love that a lot of people end up talking a lot of hate about. And that's the Pullin 3314. It's a 14 inch chain, 33 cc's, and it's the perfect little work at home saw if you're just doing a small homestead or you just need to go and get a couple of trees done around the yard or something like that. And this is actually my third one. As you can see, I push them to their limits. I don't hold back on these saws. They're great. They do have plastic internals. They're known for going and wearing out. And that's because people over push the saw. One of the first things that you want to do if you get one of these saws is that the original chain that comes with it is absolute junk. I like most larger pull-in chains, but the 14 inch chain is absolute junk. Go to Tractor Supply, order up a country line chain. You won't regret it. The other thing about these saws is the chains are absolute throwaway. When you run the saw, let it cut. Let it cut for itself. Don't push on it, don't press it, don't force it. Let it cut for itself. The moment it can't cut for itself, shut the saw down and go sharpen your chain. That's how you make these saws last. The other thing about these saws is that they hate below 40 degrees outside. The moment it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, don't even bother trying to start it. It just plain was never designed for it. And I hear a lot of people complaining about wintertime use. They weren't made for it. Don't use it below 40 degrees. The other thing about this particular saw is that it's a primer button saw, which is right here. And on the directions, it says prime it six times. The one thing I have noticed about it, all three of my saws over the years is that over time, it only takes four. And if you actually prime it the six, it floods the engine, you will not get it started, and then people throw them in the dumpster for somebody like me to find later. The other thing about these is that the bars on them like to walk. You need to watch your chain tension as you're using it because the bar likes to walk. Upgrade your nuts. These are actually off of a really old Husqvarna and upgrade them so that they lock in solid. It won't be a problem in the future. The other thing I'd like to go and point out about these saws is that if you buy the actual pull in, I call it an idiot file. If you buy the actual idiot file, which is item number 3327567, it doesn't actually sharpen the saw correctly. The thing, though, about why it is I would tell anybody to buy one of these is that the angles on it are marked, and so you can set it, match it to what the factory teeth are, so you find what angle you're at. In this case, these are 30s and then it teaches you to note that angle and to use that angle then later on you can switch to a regular standard file and you'll have muscle memory as to where that angle is the other thing about starting these saws is that as the temperature gets warmer you're going to need less and less choke if it's cold out, you'll need the choke set to full. As the saw warms up and you're restarting it, it won't start with it all the way in. You have to set it about, you have to pull it all the way out and then set it about halfway. And then the saw will restart. The other thing I have noticed about these particular series of saw is that after about an hour of solid use, when you shut the saw down, it will take it time before it wants to start again. I don't know whether it's a design flaw or whether it's something else, but set it aside, give it a good half an hour to chill after an hour of use. Otherwise, they just don't like to start. Another thing to note on these pull-in saws is the gas caps. Whatever the rubber is made out of on these gas caps, the gasoline eventually eats it out and the rubber ends up cracking. So if you smell gas, 
always check these first. Thanks, guys. I just wanted to go and give you a heads up on this cute little saw that I absolutely adore and give you guys some tips if you decide to run one yourself.